Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that will be uploaded. Thank you. You're welcome once again to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this is a channel that we've dedicated to solving problems in business statistics and business mathematics. Please do like and subscribe so that you can see more updates and upcoming videos that will be uh, uploading. Today we are going to look at one more example of a normal probability distribution. Let's look at what we have in the world world to solve this problem. We are told that we can see we have example 5 up here. The head circumference of newborn of a newborn at birth is normally distributed with a mean of 35 centimeters and standard deviation of 2 centimeters. On the sample of 100 babies, what is the probability that a child randomly selected is 1 less than 34.5 that has less than 34 Circumference is between 34 and 36.5. Let's quickly solve this problem as we do in other videos. I will really, really appreciate that you check the other videos before coming to this one. Going through these examples one after the other so that you can gain some level of mastery and confidence in solving problems relating to normal probability distribution. Let's look at what we have. In solving this, our first thing is to represent this um, value in probability. From A is a little from P of X less than N of 34.5 centimeters. So we will standardize this by finding the Z score. Standardizing is how Z score is given as our X value minus the mean, which is 35 as you can see, divided by the standard deviation. And for what we have, we can easily solve this. So this becomes this becomes 34.5 minus 35 divided by 2. 2 is our standard or give us this video 0 0.5 divided by 2 that will result in this minus 35 to that 2 minus 0 0.25 that's what we have as our z score now let's now represent this z score value in our normal curve normal curve like this at the middle, we have a mean. So, the mean, according to our question, is 35. And then, we're looking for the, the babies who are less than 35. We are having 34. So, the total class is going to be 4. So, the best now is And this will be x is 34. And we are looking for those that Lower than 34.5. Lower than 34.5. Lower than 34. That's less than this. So this will be. So this question. Remember, Z score of the mean is zero, and Z score at this point already have the as minus 0.25. So that's it. So the next task is to find this value in our normal t. So we have z score is equal to minus 
profiles and what to do the normal value when you check our normal distribution table. Please come along with me as we look at our normal distribution table and we're going to look for 0 0.2, 0 0.2 under 0 0.25. Zero point two plus zero point zero five. That will give us zero point two five. So come along with me. Let's look at that. Zero point two. Where is zero point two here? Well, zero point two under zero point two five. Come along with me. And this is what we have. So this is zero point nine. 0.0987 okay now come with me with to the workboard let's represent that this is 0 0.0987 okay good fine now mind you what we're looking for what we just found here this is not the answer. What we just found is the probability of from this midpoint, this middle, to this point, this is 34.5. But we're looking for those that score less than 34.5. That means that whatever value we get here, as we're plotting here, we will deduct from 0 0.5. Why would we deduct from 0 0.5? It's because the whole of this um, curve is from this point is 0 0.5, 50%. So I only found from here to here. What we will now do is to deduct this into this what we've got from the other one so that we can get the values on this side. So we will now I deduct from 0 0.5. We we'll need that because we're using the 50%. So this will become 0 0.5 minus 0 0.0987. And what will be our answer? Our answer will be 0 0.4013. So this is the answer that we have. But then from a sample of 100 degrees, let's now multiply this by 100. If you multiply this by 100, what do we have? We have 40. 40.13%. This will be the answer we will have for 100 degrees. Well, when multiplied by 100, because we have a sample of 100 degrees. Go back to the question. Let's look at that. The question says from the sample of 100 degrees. That's what we're deducting from. We will multiply by 100. Let's now consider the second question. The second question says we should find the probability of selecting um, any baby that has a set of between 34 and 36.5 centimeters. Now this means that we'll have two data points to deal with. Two data points to deal with. Let's now standardize them. We have Z score. This is the Z score formula. This is the Z score formula. So I'll just quickly solve that straight away. The first one is 34 minus 35 divided by 2. And this will give me minus 1. It's going to give us minus 1 divided by 2. That will give us minus 0 0.5. That's what we have. The second one is the second data point which is 36.5 minus 35 divided by 2 and all that we're going to have there 36.5 minus 35 is going to give us 1.5 divided by 2 will give us 0 0.75 give us 0 0.75 let's now represent these values in our distribution table like this here our mean is 35 and then the first data point is 34 34 will be where where will 34 be 34 will be on the left side so we will be here we have x as 34 now 36.5 is 
profile on the right side is a greater than zero. So you can see here an X of uh, 36 point. So we were looking for any table that is between that has a head circle of 34 and 36. So what do we do here? We are going to shape this portion. Just this portion of Now what do we do with these two values? Because the values we are looking for are on the opposite sides of the normal curve. One is on the right, one is on the left. When we get the values of the normal distribution, we are going to add them. But if the values were on the right, both of them on the right, we are going to deduct. Or if both of them are on the left, we are going to deduct the smaller from the bigger one. But since the values are on the opposite sides of the new value, we are going to add them. We are going to add the number the probability uh, values. So let's write here set score of 0.5. Then we have set score of 0.75. Let's now go to our number. Follow me, please. Let's go to our number description table and find what these values will be. We're looking for 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5 here. When that's 0, 0, we have 0 0.1915. That's what we'll put that in mind. Then we we'll look for 1.5. No, 0 0.75, I beg your pardon. We're looking for when that's 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Okay, 0 0.7 under 0 0.05. Can you trace with me? Good. Right here, that's what we have. 0 0.7, say so this again. 0 0.7, are you with me? 0 0.7, 0 0.7, trace on, and So we have 0 0.2734. 2734. So here we're coming the normal values. The normal values are 0 0.1915 and And this one is 0 0.2734. So what we're going to do, we're going to add, we add these values, add these values. Values. We add these values. What are we going to have? We're going to have 0 0.48 for 9. And since we have a bar for a sample of 100 degrees, let's multiply it by 100. The answer will now be 48.49%. 48 if you use a normal in the 100% table, this come along with you. Let's see the values in our normal value. In our total table, we have 0.5. Now, mind you, this is 0.5, and what we have is 0 0.691, 0 0.85. 6, 9, 5. Mind you, we have 0.5 added, and since we are looking at half of each side of the of the normal curve, we will deduct um, 0.5 from this value so that we have 1915. That's what we we'll do. Also, we we'll look at 0 0.7 on the 0 0.05. That's what we we'll have, we have 0.77. Three, four. Um, three, four. So 0 0.5 has been added, and we're looking at half of the table, not half of the uh, curve. Half of the curve. Why are we looking at half of the curve? Please follow me with to, to this. We're looking at half of the curve. What do we have? This portion of the curve. This portion is not considered. That's why we deduct 0 0.5. If we deduct 0 0.5 from these values, in, for, um, in the total table, in the total table, what you have is 0 0.6915, and this one is 0 0.7735. Okay. 
See that you can see. So if you deduct 0.5 from this and 0.5 from this, you will come back to these same values and your answer will still be 0.4849 times 100. So I, I want to thank you very much for following me and coming along with me this far in looking at a normal probability distribution. I would really like to hear from you in the comment section and do not forget to share, do not forget to like and do not forget to subscribe so that as we upload more videos you get notification and prepare very well for any exams that you